Jesus came first to teach about the good news, that is the gospel, about his coming kingdom, the future government he will establish on a renewed earth. So your whole life should be in preparation for when that happens. And a good start is to hear what he said in his first big public sermon in Matthew chapter five. First, Jesus talks about comfort. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. This means in the kingdom, we will be able to comfort many people as well. Isaiah chapter 40, comfort. Yes, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her heavy service has been completed, that her penalty has been paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Climb up a high mountain, you messenger of good news to Zion. Lift up your voice with strength, you messenger to Jerusalem. Lift it up. Do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. Look, the Lord God comes with strength and his arm rules for him. Look, his reward is with him and his payment accompanies him. Like a shepherd, he tends his flock. He gathers the lambs in his arms, carries them close to his heart, and gently leads the mother sheep. Back in Matthew 5, Jesus goes on to say, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, that is, doing what is right, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. This means we will be filled by serving as merciful, good judges. As Daniel 7 verse 22 says, Then God Most High, the Eternal God, came and judged in favor of his chosen ones, because the time had arrived for them to be given the kingdom. Jesus goes on to talk about peacemakers in Matthew 5 verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. This means you will be called to keep the peace established by God. Isaiah 2 verse 4. The Lord will mediate between nations and will settle international disputes. They will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation, nor train for war anymore. In Matthew 5, verse 12, Jesus goes on to say, Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward. In other words, what you will own. Your reward will be the redeemed nations, which means you will own the whole world. In Psalm 2, verse 8, God says, Ask and I will give you all the nations, the whole earth will be yours. Daniel 2 verse 39 describes a kingdom of brass which shall rule over all the world. And this from Revelation 5 verse 10, with his blood the Son of God bought men for God of every race, language, people, and nation, and made them a line of kings and priests to serve our God and to rule the world. So if you did a things to do list, you would look something like this. You will comfort people in the kingdom of God. You will be judges in the kingdom. You will keep the peace and you will rule the world. Again, remember, Jesus came primarily to teach you about this kingdom of God to do list. As Luke 4:43, Matthew 28:20, 20, and Acts 1:1 1, 1 says, Jesus' mission this means that Jesus' mission was not just to die for your sins. 